Oh shit, I mean, come on, another one. Well, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll have seen I did a review of this, the uh, Namimo OLED 2.4 GHz ARS module. But luckily the problem's not with this. This has been absolutely rock solid. I've been flying this for a week or so now, no problems whatsoever. The problems I have been having have been with the uh, receivers that I got in the pack with this uh, module. Now in the pack you get three of these, uh, up to now I've only managed to get one of them to work. Uh, two of them have been stuck in what I think is bootloader mode. Now, these were brand new, straight out of the packet, never been uh, attempted to flash or anything before, so I don't know what the problem is. But like I said, I managed to get one of them working, absolutely fine, straight out of the box. But the other two, no joy yet. So, in this video, we're going to try and find out how, uh, how we can fix them. Now the receiver that was working, absolutely fine, plugged it straight in, straight into Wi-Fi mode, flashed it, it's on a quad now, working absolutely fine. But the other two, as soon as I plugged them in, well I'll put a little video up here, the, uh, the light on the receiver just stayed solid. So after looking through the uh, ExpressLRS website, troubleshooting, trying to find out what was going on, I tried everything, changing it to a different UART. Uh, flashing it through uh, beta flight pass through which didn't work and just none of it worked so anyway my last resort is this now this is what's called an FTDI adapter and this enables you to uh, solder your receiver directly onto these wires and then you plug that into your PC or your laptop and try to flash it through this so what we'll do we'll get a receiver wired up to this plug it in and see what happens now if we take a quick look at the adapter, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Obviously you have your uh, USB port on one side that plugs directly into your laptop. The little jumper pin there, if you put it on the uh, two, two pins towards the left, it supplies 5 volts. If you put it to the uh, middle pin and the pin on the right, it supplies 3.3 volts. And the pins on the outside are the ones we're going to be using. The top one's your uh, voltage. The second one's your ground, the third one's your TX, and the fourth one's your RX. We won't be using the bottom two. Now, just like when you're wiring up any receiver, your TX goes to your RX on your receiver, and your RX goes to your TX on your receiver. Now, this uh, module comes supplied with uh, a lot of cables, so all we we'll do is we will plug each little cable that we're going to use onto the actual module, onto the module thing itself. Put your ground, your 5 volts. TX. And your RX. And as you can see there, I've just put the jumper over the end too, just to block them off. And what we'll do now is... Uh, We'll strip down the ends of these wires and directly solder our receiver to these. Right, not my best soldering job I've ever done, but now that that's wired up, what we'll do, we'll go to the uh, laptop and fire up Express LRS and uh, try and flash the receiver. Well, they only made a mistake there, and luckily I noticed I had my ground and my uh, 5 volts the wrong way around on the adapter. So always double check your wiring before you plug anything in. Well, here we are at the Express LRS configurator page. You can see there I'm going to flash, try and flash this receiver at 2.0. That's the name of the uh, receiver. 2.4 gigahertz one there, then the Mimbo flash 2.4 and we're going to be flashing it over UART
we will be using our custom binding phrase there put that in now blur it out so you can't all nick me quads that's the uh, time it should take once the receiver is powered on there for uh, Wi-Fi to come on and now that we've plugged our device in it shows up in the compost there so I select that and then click build and flash I'll fast forward through this bit because it does take quite a while seems to have failed it's not the best start we'll go back and check all our settings just to see where we are and try again and it's failed again well everyone i finally figured out what was wrong it was me being an idiot <laughs> turns out what you need to do before you flash it using the ftdi adapter is uh, you need to bridge the two boot pads there and there on the receiver then it should work so we'll solder that up now and then we'll try it well here we are again in the express lrs configurator all settings are the same as before just make sure we've got the same com port and try and flash again and this time we have success yay Big shout out for the help from uh, the Express LRS website, which I'll link below, and the Facebook group, which uh, really helped me out today. So thanks to everyone there. Well, there we go. That should uh, solve the problems we're having in. All down to these two tiny little pads on the thing. I don't know why I didn't solder them before. <laughs> you know, if FPV was easy, everybody would be doing it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one